So, just a quick update today, or quick. It never turns out quick because we're talking about change. And as I am explaining what's going on in my life and the changes involved, I also would like to talk a little bit about what change does within us, with our nervous system and our body, right? Because it can um, create a friction, tension, right? That uncertainty. Often with change comes uncertainty, right? Because if we stay with what we're doing that at the moment with the familiar, even knowing it might not be comfortable, we might have that really deep knowing that sense that, oh, I hate my life right now. I really don't like my work. I don't like where I'm living. I don't like my symptoms, right? If you have um, any kind of health issues like I have and things like that, or mental health issues, that, that kind of... Um, yeah, it, it's really uncomfortable. We, we actually can be suffering in that familiar state. But changing, there is that uncertainty. Will that change actually help us to feel better? Will that improve our life, our quality of life? Will it improve my financial situation? Will it improve my relationships with other people? Will it... it anything, right? Health, whatever it is, or will it actually make it worse? We don't know, right? We don't know. And that is sadly often a trigger, for, especially for people who have had PTSD or are still having PTSD, right? Um, uh, I, I deliberately say now have or have had because in the past when I was diagnosed I was actually told that this was a lifelong thing that uh, I just have to learn to manage and live with right and it most likely has to be medicated for the rest of my life but I know now PTSD and I've complex PT or I have had complex PTSD from childhood trauma right a very um, dysfunctional for, for years right it was very debilitating for, for, for many years for, for myself but I, I no longer have those kind of symptoms I no longer struggle with that so that's why I kind of make that little distinction there but what often happens for people who have had mental health issues for a long long time they'll also have physical illnesses right where there's the, the, the pains the inflammations the irritable bowel um, how many years, uh, migraines or vestibular migraines and things like that, right? So there's still some healing going on. There's still things that need adjusting. But PTSD isn't, isn't really so much an issue any, anymore, right? But when we are still having PTSD symptoms, uncertainty can really create a flare-up, right, for us. And I would just like to offer something because right now there is a lot of uncertainty in my life, right? <laughs> There's so many things going on, but there is an excitement around it now. It's beautiful. It's different because when we're excited about something, right? There's a different energy, right? When I when I feel scared and worried and 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 I have this tension in my PTSD flares, it's a constriction, right? I, I tense up, I get really tight, especially for me. It's always around the shoulders, which then the more tense I get around the shoulders and jaws, then that leads to tension migraines and all kinds of other issues that you know sleep, you can't sleep and things like that. Well, the same situation when I see it from a different perspective, when I try to look at things or understand the way my life unfolds in a different way, the same thing, like I said, it, it can be exciting. It can actually be enriching. Just the ex experience of going through that change can be really um, a creative process. It can stir up something joyous and, and all of this as well so i just wanted to really highlight highlight that for you just because we are in a certain situation that triggers certain emotional states it doesn't always have to stay the same way right that that the emotional state that we experience with that uh, experience or with that situation right so that that's just one thing that i wanted to say and i I really 
uh, wanted to share something. I said that ages ago, I'm going to share a secret. <laughs> because on the 3rd of April, that was actually eight years on the day that I started doing, started this YouTube channel and, and Instagram and all these sharings about complex PTSD and I was sharing all the strategies and tools and approaches that I used to help me rewire my brain and help me with dealing with the intense, um, oh, very um, debilitating depression, right? so many years that the anxiety the flashbacks the nightmares and all these kind of things right I, I shared so many videos of that so on the 3rd of april 2024 it was eight years that i've been doing this eight years that i've been sharing videos eight years of you know running work workshops and and i've also had um, one-on-one -on -one clients in 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 that times and it's like it's like wow it really went that fast right from 2016 2016 i started and the reason I, that was so important to me that it was started on the 3rd of April, that, that was a significant day for me, right? So many of you might relate to that, but I actually hated that day. And I hated that 3rd of April for most of my life because it is actually my birthday. <laughs> yes. I'm 49. I'm born on the 3rd of April, 75. And to start this YouTube channel and starting sharing about PTSD on the 3rd of April, it was kind of part of me reclaiming that day, giving that day a different meaning, a different purpose, something really different in, in, in my life, right? So it became something special. And as I was going on, even though my PTSD healing journey was kind of almost kind of finished at that stage because I, I, I was diagnosed in the early 2000s and I did most of my healing um, back, back then so I was whatever I was sharing from 2016 till now was perhaps more in retrospect of what I did to be really certain that what I share with you guys is is really going to work and I was it was so worried that when if I share something that it might make it worse for you and those kind of things right well now i just know that there is there is no such thing such thing right there's no one approach that works for everyone there's different times require different strategies and different personality types different life situations whether you have children or not and and all these kind of things right there's it, it's more and more or it became more and more clear to me that the healing is actually about going inward. Right? At the beginning, I was all out there trying to look for the approach. Oh, I need to do this and that, and this is this is what's going to help me. But yeah, the things did make a change, and they did help me. But even still, in twenty sixteen, right, I still hated my birthday. I still kept my I kept that a secret. Not many people knew that this was my birthday, and I just didn't want to celebrate it. Right? There was still some lingering there, and perhaps that is something for you too, right? Maybe there's a lot of healing you've already done, but there's certain sticky things in your life too. Maybe some anniversary dates that are still really days that are really difficult for you to get through or pass or or. Uh, uh, see them in a different or experience them in a different way right and it just yeah so this year was actually the first year where I thought I am I'm done with that <laughs> it does not need to be a secret my life is so good I love I I, I just love it I, I have so much love and joy and things and peace and calm and 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 everything in my life there's a different level of harmony or, or it, it just shifted so much that, that there's actually no reason for me to hate that day anymore there's no reason to not celebrate and to be happy that i get to come here and, and have that experience to wake up every morning right even that for so many years i was just waking up in the morning i hate it because at the end of the day, I, I used to go to bed wishing and hoping and praying that I would never wake up again, right? That's just how um, bad my depression was at times and things and, and just my outlook and the, what I, the hopes, I had no hopes for a better future. I didn't think things would get better and partly too because I was told, right, this is a lifelong condition. 
and I really want you to know it is not. <laughs> it is not lifelong. Everything can change. You can reclaim any, anything. You can give things a different meaning, by, but it is by turning inward. Turning inward and, to, and, and get the answers from within you, from your true nature, you know, from there. That's beautiful. And I even realize now, you know, not just for myself, even with my one-on-one -on -one clients and stuff like that, uh, it's, I, there's a shift, there's a change there too, right? I, I used to do so much more teaching and I didn't realize till more and more people say, oh, thank you for your advice and stuff like that. I think comments like that, right? I realized, oh, I'm giving advice. I am teaching. And there's no wrong with right or wrong with, with anything, right? And even the teaching, there's a place for that, right? And I needed a lot of teaching on, on my journey as well. And a lot of people have given me advice. And I don't think that's wrong. It, in many ways, it probably was helpful. But now I just realized when you want to go to the next level, when you really want to experience the richness of life, the advice and that doesn't come from outside so it's more about finding and that's for myself too right I, I used to work with psychiatrists psychologists and, and and therapists right who were giving me advice and approaches and strategies well now I'm, I'm working more with mentors that can reflect or help me to go inward and find my own answers within me right and that is the uh, one of the changes I I want to implement more and more in, in all that that I do and even in, in in the videos in some in some sense to, to shift that like even recently we had the very first clarity circle right it's just us coming together one day it was just 90 minutes but instead of more that that teaching style that I used to do we actually were trying to get the experience of those inner shift we were doing the practice together there and then for you to go in with and find your own kind of uh answers so i i think it's that that is what we need to reclaim right and that is really that part that felt for me the most wobbly and most insecure from from all the you know the the, the trauma it felt like there was there wasn't enough structure there for me to trust my own inner voice, my inner nature, right? I, there was so much doubting myself there. That, and that's all that the PTSD kind of stuff. That's all the, the hangover from the past, if you if you like to call it uh, like that, right? The, there's, yeah, it, it, is, it, it is, it it belongs in the past. And at any point I can, like that, that's my new phrase right I, I am done with this <laughs> i am done with this experience of doubting myself are you and to really explore that you know for yourself what does it do to your body how do you feel within yourself being online scrolling searching for answers does it empower you does it inspire you? Does it enrich your life? Right? Sometimes it does. But sometimes there's a different kind of um, energy around that, right? A desperation, perhaps, at times. It was for me. I don't know. It might not be for you. But to just really become aware, to pause. Why am I here? What am I actually searching? Right? Are you unconscious? Do you know why you're in here now? Right now, watching this? What are you actually searching for? Is it something very broad? Or do you actually really know in detail? That you have so much clarity that you know exactly what you want to end. What, what kind of... For one question, you're searching for an answer. really explore that yeah i think that's enough for today <laughs> okay bye